How did this just happen? I see you. How'd you get over here? <laughs> <laughs> this little cow just made its way on tar land. So we got all the good grass over here. Look at this grass. And all these grasses all eaten up. <laughs> good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the farm. Uh-oh, you guys. Look at his wings, they're getting so big. Get back in there, little buddy. Get back in there. So a lot of you guys were really upset with me about building a raised garden bed as the roof for our pump house. And why I know this is my mother told me. <laughs> she called me and she said, There's all these people leaving comments that talk about that you're doing everything wrong and stupid. And your guys' biggest concern was that I'd no longer be able to access my pump. But I want to tell you guys not to worry, because this is all very, very reachable, and it's not going to be that much of a problem. All this stuff is really, really close. I'm planning, I'm hoping, I'm not having to access my water pump all that often, because I'm hoping it doesn't break. But what I will need to get my hands in daily is this garden bed. So having it be a little bit of a pain in the butt to bend over to get to the water pump is going to be okay, because I'd rather do that than have to bend over every day to garden. The idea right now is to get as much done with what we have. And this is what we have. These are basically our materials. We have 19 2 by 12 by 12s some metal beams, a couple bags of cement, and that's it. We're living here full time, and we're trying to use these little materials that we have to make our lives as easy as possible. So saving materials by putting the raised bed as a roof made way more sense to us than to waste more materials to build a garden bed up to here. So we've been keeping these little guys in our little greenhouse that we're not really using to grow anything. We're mostly using this for a place for the chickadees. I think this is this is really the perfect situation that we have right now, being able to bring them out into the greenhouse during the day um, because their incubation period where you want to keep them really, really warm is between four to six weeks. And as you guys know, we've been keeping them in the bus at night, putting the heat lamp on, and that's kind of just how we've been rolling. You guys, we just found something and we got to show you. Look at that cricket. That's not what I mean. And look at this guy. Whoa. This is what we're excited about. So many wild raspberries. Oh boy. <laughs> no, she, uh, no. she spit it out. <laughs> she, she's weird about fruit. We're trying to take some more moments throughout the day to, <laughs> I guess you could say stop and smell the roses, but just appreciate what's around us. We've been, really trying to work so much on trying to bring some of the modern luxuries up to our land that at points we've been so engrossed in it that we aren't just taking a few moments to just look out of the volcano, look out over our land, look at the insects and the bugs and the birds and everything that's going on and just to appreciate it for a minute. Half inch PVC, so tiny ones. Half inch. PVC glue, L brackets, uh -huh. black long zip, zip ties. Nailed it. All right, now's my time. Bye, love. I got two hours to get all the things I need to get done. Let's see if you can get them all. See you later. I gotta show you guys something. Uh, so, uh, the back left tire is completely flat. I made a big boo boo. We probably could have been able to fix this, but I drove on it for the whole duration of our dirt road, which is like four minutes of driving. And I didn't realize, because the road is so bumpy, I didn't realize anything was wrong until I got into the pavement. And that's when, the second I got on the pavement, I knew, I'm like, something's wrong. What a time to get a flat tire. <laughs> what a time, huh? It's all right, we'll fix it. I mean, at least we have a spare, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing's... Now look at the tire. It's coming down, baby. That is a nice tire. Levantando diferencial hasta cuando llega ahí, entonces para arriba, demora mucho. Está bien. This is that guy. 
he's our neighbor, and we just have such a hard time understanding him. <laughs> but he's brought a second jack, so I might couldn't get up high enough, which is really is really helpful. So okay. people here are so incredibly nice. While sitting here for like five minutes waiting for Jordan, three people already went by asking if we needed any help. So pretty cool. Yeah, we did something. Oh. Almost. Uh. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Lo siento. Uh, no importa, no importa. Lovey. What did you do? I punched, my, I punched myself in the face. So we're realizing... <laughs> we're now showing each other our boo-boos that we have. And this guy's cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> He's never heard that before, so I guess uh, in Spanish that's not what they call it, a boo-boo. <laughs> As I was leaving, I picked up this steel beam. I'm like, this may come in handy. Oh no, total bien. See? Total bien. Look at that. Ooh. Beautiful. That's that's is that the last one? Yeah, how's my nose? Oh though? my love. So much for going and getting all the snacks for movie night tonight. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> We're out of time. You're, you're quarantined. You're back in quarantine though. Well, no. No, I'm not. How much time you got? I still have one hour. All right, so if we get this done in 30 minutes. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, done. You did it, baby. You came to my rescue. Here's the thoughts that are going on through my mind right now. The bad thing is everything is closed in terms of like mechanics, auto parts, everything. Like the only thing that's open is grocery stores and pharmacies. So if we get another flat tire, we can't go anywhere. Now naturally that wouldn't be that big of a problem, but we need it right now for, we're, we're shuttling water up to our land. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest thing. But really the most important thing on my mind is I just got gummy bears. <laughs> and they're organic. I gotta be honest with you guys, when we got that flat tire, for the rest of the day, we were pretty stressed. Uh, getting around in that car is kind of crucial for us right now because we don't have all the resources up here to survive, to, to live. We need to truck water up here right now. We Worst case, we could walk down and carry water up, but we really need the four tires on that truck to not have anything happen to them. And as the sun started to set, we started to notice something similar, which is we were getting a north wind night, which means really, really heavy winds. This is the craziest weather I've seen. This wind is so strong. And you guys might remember two or three videos ago now, when I was talking about our solar panels, and I said this. Here it is, you guys, the four solar panels are Basically permanently installed. I have two screws in each one. I want to get a few more, but I need to get some L brackets. Well, we weren't able to get those L brackets that we needed because of the flat tire. So I was up all night listening to the solar panels rattle around on the roof, just praying that they didn't rip off. I'm happy to report that they didn't. Just when we thought the wind was done. This is probably one of the windiest days we've ever had. Everything is just getting ruined. Shit's flying everywhere. We redid the seal today because there was a very, very, very small leak from right there at the tank. And we were basically out of water, so we figured we'd redo it. Now we have a little bit of a nightmare. You know, in those when you try to fix a really small problem, it makes a really big problem. A lot of our plumbing could be broken. So Kaylee's hopping in to try and save the day. Hey, what are you doing in there? <laughs> and I we, I, we have to see what happened to all these connections after all that, but Kaylee just hopped in there. Now we just have to figure out how to get you out. There you go, light on your feet, Kaylee. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Man, I'm getting creative now, baby. I think the idea is to build a chicken tractor. Right. You know what chicken tractors? Of course I know what a chicken tractor is. 
So but we're gonna. People don't know what a chicken tractor is. I bet a lot of them know what a tr chicken tractor is because a lot of these guys have more experience than we do. But the idea is to build a mobile chicken coop. So for those of you guys who don't know what a chicken tractor is, it's basically a house for the chickens, which allows them to till and fertilize the soil, and then you can move the chicken tractor to a different area of your land and then plant where the chickens were before. So we're building this chicken tractor out of our old greenhouse. You guys might have seen it. It's right here. So we built a greenhouse because we thought we were going to grow vegetables first, but now we're not able to go and buy any materials to build another one of these, so we're just going to convert this one. So when we built that greenhouse over there, we actually had <laughs> the chicken tractor in mind because our original plan was we were going to build a chicken tractor the same exact size as the greenhouse because the two of them together go hand in hand. All right, give it a go. All right, bye Lola, we'll see you later. See you guys, she's doing so good with the chickies. <laughs> she's in there with them right now. Okay, it's perfect, perfect, huh? Go, come up, get going, get going. Go ahead, go ahead, go. <laughs> as much as we would love to keep these cows in our land because we need a lawn mowing real bad. They're all just coming up. There's What's so going on right now? <laughs> what is happening? The only thing is the driveway, we don't have a fence there anymore. So we would love to just keep them here all night. They're going, they're gonna just go. But they're just gonna, yeah, we, we gotta get them back over to their home. <laughs> By the way, I think this is all we're gonna do for our greenhouse for today. You can see we have this all chicken wired off and the sides and yep. the doors done. Mm -hmm. But I think that's all we're gonna do. We're losing sunlight real quick. You ready for this? I always wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh Look at him trying to peck the bugs, but they're just pecking the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so just when we think the windy season's over and the rainy season is still a month and a half away. We get both. We get both all in one day. <laughs> this is probably one of the most difficult days we've had in a while. Last 24 hours. So sometimes you just gotta stop, put the drill down. Go make some banana sit bread. Sit down, go make some banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cue that the banana bread is done. <laughs> so, because we're trying to save as much solar and, bat and uh, charge as we can, until about 10 o'clock at night, we keep the cover on and we put. She's talking about the chickens, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we put um, a cup of warm water and surprisingly it keeps it really really toasty in there i mean it's already pretty toasty in the bus already but it just gives it that like extra little bit of coziness we also put a sleeping bag over the top of it and that keeps it nice and insulated as well yeah. so we just put that over to insulate the box and that's going to save our solar and our batteries yes and then around 10 o'clock put the red lamp on and be good for the night good for the night what'd you do would you expect it to end any other way never <laughs> getting what kind of jelly is this? This is delicious. You guys, you got banana bread. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I want to know what kind of jelly it was. The jelly is half pomegranate, half raspberry. Wow, it's delicious. I think this is where we're gonna wrap this episode up. Whew! What a crazy last couple days. It was tough before, but now it's easier that we have banana bread. <laughs> banana bread makes everything better. This is true. All right, guys, we love you so much, and we'll see you next time.